Yo, what is up YouTube? Back with another video. Welcome to High Vibrational Kings. This is a channel for people that want to better themselves in life. Shout out to anybody holding on to their energy, breaking bad addictions, and trying to become a better version of themselves. All right guys, so in this video, I wanna talk about how women will think that you're some kind of player when you're on retention, guys. Um, it's just something that I sense like other women feel like like you're a player when when you're retaining because when you're retaining guys you have like all this confidence you have all this charisma that just starts popping out of nowhere like it literally like changes like it just makes you really charismatic you know you don't feel shy you don't feel intimidated to approach these women so you'd be talking to like anybody like without feeling like shy or any of those you know emotions because you know you're not on the hub anymore you're not releasing your energy you're building up your life force energy within you feel good you feel confident so that energy that you that you're carrying around with um women can feel it you know so you're not just like going up to a chick being like uh uh hey uh, excuse me like nah you'll be like hey what's up girl like <laughs> For real, yeah, you're just like, not like that, but it's just the confidence, like, hey, what's up, like, how you doing, like, confident, you know, just looking at them in the eyes, not being, like, shunned in, um, and yeah, guys, you just walk around like a celebrity, you just feel like, you know, like, you, you have the confidence to talk to any chick, um, it doesn't matter how she looks like, or anything like that, you know, I'd just be starting, like, conversations with, like, a bunch of girls, and, People, like other chicks will probably like see you in a different way, especially like if you're at work, guys, and there's like a lot of female co-workers and you're just, you know, you're just vibing. You're not even being flirty or anything like that. You're just, you're just feeling good within your own energy and you just start talking to them. Um, you know, they, they'll, they'll kind of perceive that they'll probably think like, damn, this guy gets like a lot of chicks because you're portraying out like that confidence that you're not like stuck on one girl or you're just like not confident to like you know talk to a lot of women so when you're just talking to like all these different types of women with no hesitation other women see that and there's just like oh there's like something about him you know like they'll start being like curious about you they'll start feeling like that like because like when it comes to women guys they like you know competition they like um, a guy that other women are after, you know. No, a, a, a chick doesn't really want a guy that's that doesn't have options, like that other women don't really want him because then they'll be like, oh, like he doesn't really have anything going on for himself. But when like chicks are chasing like a guy, it's usually because he has some. There's something about him, you know, his energy. Um, it just speaks for itself, you know? So you'll just be walking around here like like a pimp, you know? But even if you're not pimping or anything like that, you just have like that like that swagger, you know, that charisma, that confidence. Like you're just not, even, you don't even have to be flirting or anything. You're just vibing like within your own energy. You're cracking jokes. They're feeling your vibe. And then all of a sudden they're just giving you, num giving out their number. Like no cap guys, literally today, I was at work, well, I'm still at work right now, I'm at lunch, but earlier, um, I was, you know, just like in the warehouse before heading out to start my, to start my route, but I was in the warehouse and, you know, I was talking to all these female chicks, like, and it's funny cause like, I was just vibing, you know, just, just, uh, you know, just vibing, like chilling, just asking questions. Um, and even like everybody just seemed to be like nice, you know, like all the chicks were just being like super respectful. Even the Jezebels were like saying hello and all this shit. So um, it's funny, guys, because like I remember I talked to this girl that I haven't seen before. I think she's new. I was just asking her, asking her like something work related. And then all of a sudden this other girl popped out of nowhere and kind of like wanted my attention now, you know. So I was just like in between like two girls like that and then they, they, I was just like, you know, um, the other one like wanted my attention, but I was originally talking to like that first one. Um,
But yeah, they're just like, they, they like want your attention. And then after that, guys, I went to the bathroom. And when I came out, there was like a chick just standing there. And then she was just like asking for my number. Like, <laughs> like no cap, guys. She just randomly asked for my number. Like, oh, like, you know, like, what's your number? And I was just like, oh, I just gave it to her. And then she was just like saying that she was like excited. And I was like, okay. But I guess like I was talking to other coworkers about like what I see like throughout the day. Like I'm always seeing like a bunch of things like when I'm at work. Because I, I like I'm out and about, you know, I go like a lot of places. So she just like randomly like asked for my number. And then like, like girls don't really do that, you know, when. So she must have felt really confident and liked my energy enough to, you know, ask me for her for for my number you know it's usually the opposite way but you know like when it comes to like chicks they have to be really feeling your vibe in order to like for you for them to ask you about your number so it's just something that it's hilarious guys like you just start walking around like a freaking like a chick magnet even if you're not a pimp even if you're not pimping or anything like a player um, just that energy that you start carrying around with, it's like your aura, it just speaks for itself, the way you start talking to people and, you know, females will just like want your attention because they see that other females are giving you attention. So they're just like, damn, like there must be something about him that all these other females like, you know, are chasing him for they're not really chasing, but you know, they're, they're giving them their attention and you know they're very receptive when you're talking to them, you know, they, there's like a twinkle in their eye and shit. Like, even like a coworker said that he's like, bro, I think this person likes you. I was like, why do you say that? And then he was like, oh, because every time you're, you're talking to her, her eyes like light up, you know? And I was just like, I don't know, maybe, but you know, I'm not even thinking about that or anything guys. Like when you stop focusing on the, on the chicks and start focusing all that energy back within yourself, then the the chicks start gravitating towards you like without you even trying because you're just vibing like in your own energy you're not being you, you don't have that simp coomer energy you're not giving off that thirsty energy that you might have be giving off back then or you're not like that shy unconfident energy back when you're on the hub <clears throat> so now you're just like like you're just walking around just like with all this life force energy all this confidence, you know, you feel good within, so you kind of start lifting other people's spirits so they could feel your vibe, and then, you know, they're drawn to you, and including women, because they're more receptive, they're more, like, tuned, they're more emotional, right, so they could pick up on that, you know, that raw masculine energy that comes from retaining, um, and yeah, they'll, they'll just gravitate towards you a lot more. But yeah, guys, don't don't let the female attraction get to your head, though. Um, you know, you, you always got to be focused. Never, you know, drop everything that you have going on for yourself. And then just lose it all just for, like, a female, you know. Like, keep retaining. Like, keep doing your thing. Um, you know, it's, it's okay to, like, talk to all these chicks and stuff like that. But, you know, just be, like, careful with it, you know. And don't let things get, like, out of control. Especially, like, if they're co-workers, you know, like, that could be, like, really bad. Um, if, like, these co-workers are giving you, like, choosing signals and things like that. Because, you know, you're at your work. These, fema these females aren't gonna, you know, give you a paycheck. Like, you know what I'm saying? So you just gotta remain focused at the same time. And, you know, just have a little fun, you know, just talk. Just use that new energy um, you know, just good vibes and stuff like that. Like the female attraction is just kind of like a, it's just, what do you call it? A byproduct of like the internal work that you do on yourself when, when you're self-improving, when you're retaining your energy, that's just like a side thing that comes with it. But the main thing is just always back within yourself, always focusing on whatever you're doing. You know, don't just get like a female attraction and then just like stop working out stop doing all these things that you that you were doing originally that made them attracted to you in the first place you know so just be careful guys um 
It's like that 50 Cent song. He's like, I don't know what you heard about me, but you can't get a dollar out of me. <laughs> Because I'm a P-I-M... Or it's like, it's a, a P-I-M-P or some shit like that. Um, I don't know why I randomly thought of that, but it's hilarious, guys. I'm literally on my lunch break right now. I just wanted to bust out a video for y'all. And um, because I thought it was funny. Like, some... And she's cute, too. Like, she's, like, pretty cute. The girl that asked for my number. Um, she's, like, really feminine, but... Another thing that I wanted to mention is like just because there's a vibe doesn't always mean that there's a connection. You know, somebody could be vibing with you, but at the same time, they're not really like in the certain certain situations, like just because you vibe with somebody doesn't mean that they're like a right person for you. You know, maybe in that certain moment, maybe like at work or something, but in their personal lives, you know, that's the type of person that they are in general. Maybe they aren't, they aren't really right for you. So it's all about using discernment and, you know, just seeing, like, these women for who they are. Because, like I said, when you're in retention, guys, you stop seeing, you start seeing everything more spiritual. You know, you stop focusing everything on, like, the physical appearance. You know, she could be, like, beautiful, but she could have, like, ugly energy. And then that's instantly, like, you stop dealing with that. Like, for what? Or she could be like, you know, average looking, but her energy is on point. You know, it's super like attractive. And that's what it really comes down to in the end. Like, how is her energy like? And how is her mind like? The physical appearance um, is just like the vehicle, you know. But what's really important is how her mind and her spirit is, what her personality is like, what she's into, things like that, guys. So don't be too quick to, you know, like hang out with these chicks um and then just get yourself like wrapped up in like you know this nonsense um because you know they could women can, uh can also be your downfall if you're not like in your masculine frame and if you're not really using discernment and seeing like if this chick is right for you so it's all about you know just vibing just keeping it chill you know don't let things get too out of hand um, you know, you have all this energy now, you have all like this charisma and confidence, but just don't let it get out of hand and, you know, just try to be in control of it. So, uh, maintain your frame, retain gang. Woo! All right, guys, I'm gonna end it with that. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.